Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. A few days ago I did a review on the PocketGo S30. At the time of my review, I had spent around 10 hours over the course of two weeks reviewing the device with the latest build at the time, which was February 3rd, 2021. There has since been a newer build from Slamminger, which can be found at techtoytinker.com. I'll have the link in the description field below. It's exceedingly simple to do the update. Just drag and drop three upgrade folders to the SD card and you're done. Bottom line is if you own a PocketGo S30, you need to update immediately to Slamminger's latest build. Slamminger's build leverages RetroArch cores, which are exceedingly better than the stock build and also the previous custom firmware. For a quick comparison, here is the February 3rd, 2021 build. It's literally impossible to execute a throw maneuver in Tekken 3 with this old build. This has compounding issues across a variety of games, but largely all fighting games would be greatly affected by this problem. However, if we look at Slamminger's RA core build, we can see a complete night and day difference between these two builds. What was once before nearly impossible to pull off is now at least viable to do the maneuver you want to accomplish. And this translates across every retro arc core update. I've found that Street Fighter 3 Third Strike on Final Burn Alpha plays quite well and the D-pad is now able to shine with even super moves easily possible to pull off. While these fixes are great, the rapid button push problem still exists. And this translates across every core and every option I've tried in RetroArch settings. Whether you are in Neo Geo, Super Nintendo, Mega Drive, whatever, rapid button presses do not translate currently. There might be hope yet this problem can ultimately be fixed, and thus, when core problems of the device are fixed, I could then start to recommend the device, which at $60 for the performance is incredibly attractive. Unfortunately, when thinking about retro games, there are tons of retro games whose mechanics rely upon rapid button pressing. In the good news, fighting games are 100% fixed using Slamager's build. If you own a Pocket Go S30, you need to update immediately. I still wouldn't recommend the device in its current form. Yeah, it's $60, but for a little bit more money, especially with devices coming on the horizon with 4x3 aspect ratios, I'm still coming up empty on recommending this device. It's unfortunate that the development team is leaning on the community to fix inherent problems with the Pocket Go S30, but I am incredibly grateful the scene does such great work. Even back to the Dingunity days. It does look like there is good news ahead on the horizon for the S30. Slamminger has already done a ton of work here, and I certainly appreciate all of his effort. So for me personally, thank you very much, Slamminger. Hopefully I've been <laughs> hopefully I've been pronouncing your name correct this entire time. <laughs> As always, guys, thank you for your time, and thanks for watching.